Just try to run, try to run, try to run before I get started. As always, I would love to say, call all your have a bow, shimmy, I'm a shape, I'm a shimmy, we call for Dodge. The wines to the hills and the pots of the great millstone. And shout out to the old for the late. Shout out to the heavenly father name is Yahweh. Yahweh in the Hebrew tongue means uh, he is this or he is that he is. Yahweh is who the world Italy calls God. He has many titles but only one name. His eyes is 10,000 times brighter than the sun, technically infinite. And of course, the heavenly father son named who the world Italy calls Jesus Christ. All right. His true name is uh, Yahweh Shai, which means he is the savior or he is the deliverer. Same exact thing. And he's coming back to save not everybody. He's coming back to save the elect of the nation of Israel. All right? That's why Yahweh Shai told his disciples to go to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. And when you read the book of John, chapter 3, verse 13, all right, it tells you when it speaks about the world, for, for the Lord so loved the world, all right, that world is talking about what? The world of Israel. That word uh, uh, world, whenever you look it up, it's talking about a, a government, a, a people, all right? And it's talking about the people of Israel, the so-called Negroes, Hispanics, and Native American Indians, and of course the Israelite foreigners that look like the other nations, because you are according to the seat of your, of your father when you read the book of Numbers chapter one. So let's get into some scriptures, because y'all see what happened, happening with these uh, with these natural disasters, which that's the Lord, Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh that's causing these destructions. And I, and see, I'm going to get into it because the Lord, He uses all right, uh, the weather to put destruction on people. Whether it's rain, people might drown to death, just like in the days of Noah. And, as a matter of fact, in this time, people is going to burn to death. All right? and I'm saying volcano, you name it. But let me read this the book of Amos, Amos chapter 3, verse 6. Shall a trumpet be blown in a city and the people not be afraid? And see, one of the, one of the sounds when you think about it in the music uh, thing is that Israelites love the trumpet sound. We love the harp sound. And you know I'm saying it sounds like that. We love, you know I'm saying, who is the best band marshals? All right, the trumpets. Who is the best drum line beating and all that? First of all, we is the best, you know what I'm saying? So, again, I'm going to read that again because what we love the trumpet as a people. You know what I'm saying? You know, that's some good sound. All right? But now, this is the book of Amos. Amos, chapter uh, 3, verse 6. Shall a trumpet be blown in the city, and the people not be afraid? But guess what? What is that scripture talking about? Physically. Physically, it's talking about what? The prophets of the Lord, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, out here on the street corners, on the highways and byways. The byways is the countryside. The highways is the city side, right? We is outside blowing the trumpet. This is me blowing the trumpet, letting you know that, hey, the world this time is going to end with fire. Anybody that's on the land of America, if you was not of the elect, you was going to be, what, burned with fire. We is also warning you about uh, famine of food, right? famine of drinking, also the famine of the word. We is warning you about the hell that's coming. We is warning you about the MOTB. Which is that RF to the you know what? Uh, you know that chip. Which I can't say that no more because instead of taking it down. All right? But that chip that they want to put in your right hand or in your forehead. All right? We warning you about the MOTB. And we are warning all our people to get right or your ass will get left behind. Right? Because, I'm, matter of fact, something just had just not came into mind. Let me read this again. It says, Amos, Amos, chapter, six, chapter 3, verse 6, shall a trumpet be blown in the city and the people not be afraid. Yeah, that's right. You're supposed to be afraid whenever you hear this word. The elect is naturally afraid. That's why the scripture says that what? I am afraid of thy word. Uh, I'm roughly paraphrasing. I, I have heard thy speech and was afraid. I have heard the prophet speak and what? I was afraid because even before you come into this truth, you already knew, well, speaking from my experience, I knew that the world was going to end with fire because, because people used to always tell me when I was younger, hey, the first world end with water. The second world is going to end with fire. So you need to get right. And, and see, I always believed that. And then, and then people used to always speak about World War Three, World War Three. Hey, you know, World War Three is going to end with missiles. But see, what they had wrong and what they taught me was they said that all the land you see, all the dirt and grass, is going to get hit with missiles, right? So 
So before I came into the truth, I, I thought that all the land, I don't give a fuck, but like what? All continents, all countries, all the land was gonna get hit with missiles and burned with fire. But then when you come into this truth, you learn that only America is that lake of fire. You see? America is that lake of fire. This is the uh, the daughter of Babylon. This is that great whore that sits on the beast, which is NATO and the EU. Alright? What them seven heads is French, Spain, Germania, uh, Asia Minor, alright, Britain. Why well, I had left out uh uh why well, I left out Germania, Asia Minor, France, Spain, Britain, Greece. Is that five? That, no, no, it's seven. Y'all know. Spain, Britain. I always leave out one. I always say six. I know I said six. I hit one more. I know if I hit French. Anyway, you already know the seven heads, which is what? NATO and the EU. All right? You see? That whore that sits on the beast. But who is that whore? Who is that eighth head? That eighth head is America. It's going to get what? Turn into a lake of fire. All right? So then when I came into the truth and heard his word for the first time, and then whenever I heard brothers preach about, hey, man, America is going to get turned into a lake of fire, I was like, oh, I thought it was the whole world. It was like, no, it's America. All right? So what happened? I got afraid. The trumpet was blown. And what? I got afraid. You see, because the trumpet is going to always be blown. And that's one thing about it. Everybody hears what? The trumpet. All right? But only, only the elect will hear the trumpet. And what? They is going to what? Get right with the Lord. So I'm, I'm going to finish this off. Shall a trumpet be blown in the city and the people not be afraid? Which the elect will be afraid. And what? They're going to repent and get right. It says, Shall there be evil in the city and the Lord Yahweh have not done it? So all the evil that you see. Guess what? The Lord Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai done it. All the evil that you see, the Lord did it. What the Lord, he, he, he make it rich and what he make it poor. All right? He bring down to the grave and what he lift it up. The Lord make you whole, he make you sick. You see what I'm saying? Matter of fact, let's, let's uh, speak about what happened in what? In Southern Florida. Let me get that article real quick. Hold on. In that article because they said that what they had no warning it just happened suddenly uh let's see an article has speak about how do we when the rain came when the flood came it happened suddenly with no warning Hold on, let me get it. i got it right here now this is right here in google it says there was no warning. Yeah. The people of what? Southern Florida said that what? There was no warning. All right? The flood that had happened. Hey, hey, hey. They say, they say that what? Matter of fact, I'll read it. I'll read it. Let me read it. It says, there was no warning. South Florida emerges after life-threatening flash flooding. Look at that. After life-threatening flash flooding. You see? But guess what? The prophets is out here constantly warning you about what? You have a bash and have a shame. What? 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 Bringing what? Destruction. Earthquakes. Mildew. do. Matter of fact, I'm going to get that scripture too. But let me read down. Let me go down because what? They said that what? They was giving no warning. Because what? The Lord, what? He, he, he does things what? Suddenly. All right? Once we give the warning, he going to bring what? The destruction. And see, the elect won't get tripped up because we watching as well as praying. But everybody else, what? They get hit suddenly because, what? They're they not watching. Just like the Lord said, the Lord, your house, said that, well, he, he going to come as a thief in the night. Not to the elect because, what? The elect is what? Watching. But see, the two-thirds, they ain't watching. All right? So now, let me finish. Hold on. Let me get this bottom part real quick. Of this article I got it right here it says South Floridans it says South Floridans woke up Thursday which was yesterday it says South Floridans woke up Thursday morning to their homes flooded streets gridlock yeah here it is they they had went to sleep at night woke up that morning and they homes flooded like damn all this damn water had came from all right Hold on real quick. 
damn it. Give me like 10 seconds. Hopefully it's faster than that. Okay, hold on. He, he, he almost loaded up. I clear. Website ain't shit. Come on, damn. Okay, yeah, we back in business. Damn. Let me read that from the top. It says South Floridians woke up Thursday morning to their homes flooded. Streets gridlock with abandoned cars. Yeah, here it is. People had left their cars. You had streets that had what? Uh oh. -uh. Abandoned cars, all right. You have you you have you even had people that had to what go through their windows. You know what I'm saying to what to get out the house, all right. But guess what? It happened suddenly. You see, it says uh, South Floridians woke up Thursday morning to their homes flooded, streets gridlocked with abandoned cars, and rescue efforts underway after near nearly 26 inches of rain. Here it is, you had nearly 26 inches of rain fell in a period of less than seven hours and the rain kept coming. Look at this, and then the rain kept coming. It says Thursday evening dumping more rain on already flooded streets. Look at that. But see, that happened suddenly. They said that they had received absolutely no warning. I, I, I read it again. It said right here, there was no warning South Florida emerges after life-threatening flash flood. Yeah, they said that they have received absolutely no warning. But guess what? What they feel and realize is what? That's the Lord. The Lord had done that on the air suddenly. Alright. The Lord had done that on the air what? Suddenly. But now let's get back to the scripture. Let's, let me read this from the top again and finish it. It says, Amos chapter 3 verse 6, Shall a trumpet be blown in the city, and the people not be afraid? Shall there be evil in the city, and, and the Lord have not done it? You see, the word evil just simply means bad time, that's it. And did those people in um, South Florida have bad time? Yes. Even around the world. Even in these different countries. That's, that's uh, dealing with war, with people getting murdered and slaughtered. In the country of Myanmar, all right, some brothers pronounce it Myanmar. It, no, it's Myanmar. Anyway, it, it, it don't matter. Anyway, in the country of Myanmar, I see a video of um, these army troops. They had took a civilian, which was a woman. All right, they had took her, surrounded her. They beat her ass up and, and start stabbing her in the stomach. Then they just took the damn knife and, and they just behind her neck and just decapitate her ass alright hey it's actually real in the field but see they they, they not gonna put this on the media they, they don't put real news on the media what you gonna see the only media that the people have is uh tiktok uh, uh facebook you know all this lame shit and the rest of that it was another lame ass uh uh, Snapchat, uh, Instagram, and stuff like that, you know. And of course, people are what distracted by sports and stuff like that, and, and uh, movies, right? And you know, people been telling me about this Mario movie. I ain't, I ain't looking at that shit. But anyway, people are what distracted. They don't, they don't see what's really going on. You got war that's really going on. You, you even got people that don't, don't even believe in the Ukraine and Russia war. Which is funny as all hell. That's now that's funny. Yeah, some, some some dude told me that he don't believe that the Ukraine and Russia war, war is real. I say, man, is you serious? He said he don't even believe in that. That's a uh, fake. But then again, you believe in wrestling. You believe in the WWE, WWF, ECW, WCW. You believe in all that wrestling shit, but you don't believe what the hell is going on uh, 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 around the world. Hey, but see, only wise people can see that, hey, it's war going on outside. Uh, but people that sleep, they don't see it. All right, but anyway, let me uh, read verse 7. All right, Amos chapter 
3, verse 7. It says, what time it is? I got it. It says Amos chapter 3, verse 7. Surely the Lord Yahweh will do nothing, but he revealed his secret unto his servants, the prophets. Yeah, that's right. The Lord Yahweh will do nothing, but reveal his secrets unto the servants, the prophets. So we understand why the Lord bring earthquakes and sinkholes and fire and somebody house catching on fire. We understand. We understand these things, all right? We understand why why uh why we catch hell. Here it is. We is what the uh, Lord's people, but what we catch hell. We understand that because what we know about the book of what through the Romans chapter twenty eight when it speaks about what the curse. What's up? What are you representing right here? The Hebrew Israelites. I did, I just uh reading the Bible. We ever heard about one. the uh? I need the Bible. Yeah, you ever heard about the Hebrew Israelites? No. Uh, I'm well, a good person. I need, I need the Bible. Yeah. But you know, the Hebrew Israelites, well, the Bible is actually about who the real enemy uh You think I'm a bad person? No. I'm a no. No. <laughs> Why you say no? Because, hey, I'm going to put it like this. The Lord, he looks at the inward man, not the outward. And see, there's a scripture on that. Thank you. You're welcome. All right. You help me motivate my day today too. All right. Ha have a nice day. You too. Anyway, let's uh, get back into it. I gotta read that again. You know, you gotta be wise and as a serpent and what harmless as a dove. All right. So, and oh, his ass gonna burn in hell. But anyway, we, yeah, with those missiles. All right. But anyway, Amos, Amos chapter, chapter three, verse seven. It says, "Surely the Lord." Yahweh will do nothing, but he revealed his secret unto his servants, the prophets. Yeah, that's right. And see, who is the Lord's servants? All right. The true prophets, that's what, what people call what? The prophets of doom. All right. The prophets of what? Doom is what we uh, prophesied about doom, uh, 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 about what hell and what destruction. All right. The prophet what? Jeremiah. All right. Hey, hey, all the prophets. Hey, hey, Yahweh All right. And Yahweh Shai was getting on those hypocrites. Now I'm saying that uh was uh what? Uh, uh he had turned the uh the house of the which these niggas turned the house of the Lord and into what merchandise. Alright. Because you already know how to read the Lord, he had flipped them tables, alright, kick their ass out the house. You ain't gonna get in the net. You know what I'm saying? Cause I'm on my lunch break. But hey, we understand why why everything happened the way it happened. We, we understand why what our people catching here but when you read the book of what do the Romney because what the reason why we is at the bottom is because what we sin as a nation so we is at the bottom but see these people they, they don't understand that but anyway let me hurry up because since I had speak about what the weather about the meal doing stuff like that let me get this real quick let's uh, get Haggai chapter 2 This is the book of Haggai, chapter 2, verse 17. Cause I want to speak about how to be the Lord. He will use weather to what? Destroy people. This is the book of uh, Haggai, chapter, chapter 2, verse 17. It says, I smote you with blasting. And see, the question is, what is that blasting? Wind. Heavy wind. You know what I'm saying? That blasting is what? The wind. It says, I smote you with blasting. In with meal do and see the let me stop right there. What is that meal do? Y'all know like that uh mold, that uh, black stuff that uh that what that uh gets on the wall and stuff like that. Every time it rain, you know what I'm saying, then the wall had that little black stuff, that's that meal do. You know what I'm saying? That's that and see that stuff like that can make you sick too. That's that meal do, that's that decay shit. Alright. The Lord, he's he's in control of what everything. It says uh Haggai sh 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 chapter two verse seventeen. I smote you with blasting and with mildew and with hell the Lord make it rain hell in all the labels of your hands so everything that you work for everything that you uh put your heart into the Lord will destroy that shit with rain even with these farmers these uh, farmers be catching hell hey, hey, the Lord said that what he will uh, cut the staff of bread 
the Lord say he will break the staff of bread, which is what your food supply. Alright? The Lord will what? He will what this he will what this he will what destroy your uh your your uh, everything that what you had worked for. Alright? And, and 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 what the Lord said that what he'll uh, do it with, I'm gonna read it again. I smote you with blasting and with mildew and with hell and in all it says and it says hell in all the labels of your hands yeah, that's right everything that you work for gone just like that all right it says yet ye turn not to me said the lord yahweh so here it is the lord done to destroy everything that you don't work for your whole house your business all right your city your community just like those communities that had got destroyed last month guess what did it turn back to the lord yahweh Absolutely not. They didn't. All right? And see, we not out here for all Israel. We are here for the elect of, of Israel. That's why the prophets had asked. Yeah, uh, that's why the prophets had asked Yahweh, why are you speaking to our people in parables? Just like I spoke to this individual in parables. Because I knew he wasn't right. You know what I'm saying? That's why I spoke to him in parables. And see, a wise man, he would do that. Now, I could have easily tell a nigga, you gonna fucking die, you gonna burn. I say, you know what? Let me speak in parables. Now I'm saying, you have to know how to read spirits. Whenever you have the experience, you can read spirits, a demon to pop up. Just like when I end camp, I actually speak to people. It's not on camera or nothing like that. But I actually speak to people. You will learn how to read spirits and stuff like that. You will know if somebody ain't right. And, nah, this person ain't right. Oh, I don't know about this individual. But like I say, when Jake came up, I say, nah, he ain't right. Let me speak in parables. Bye. You know what I'm saying? But then, once I see that you have what? Potential? Okay, let me let this brother know something. All right, but anyway. We are here for the elect of the nation of Israel only. You see? Matter of fact, speaking about thundering, you know what I'm saying? That's in um first Samuel, hold on. Let me get that because what the Lord he can what uh thunder to what to terrify people. And that what goes into what the weather as well. Let me get this first Samuel real quick. First Samuel chapter 7, verse 10 in the NLT. It says, I, I'm just getting straight to the point. It says, just as Samuel was sacrificing the burnt offering, the Philistines arrived to attack Israel. Because when I mean, you read before this one, it, Israel was scared of the Philistines because the Philistines, which is the Hamites, so by Africans, they was on their way to attack Israel and what Israel got scared. So what Samuel did was say, he, he, he had offered up a sacrifice and prayed to the Lord. He cried to the Lord. But I ain't gonna spoil you the story. Let me finish reading it. It says back in 1 Samuel chapter 7, verse 10 in NLT, just as Samuel was sacrificing the burnt offering, the Philistines arrived to attack Israel. But the Lord Yahweh spoke with a mighty voice of thunder from heaven that day. So basically the Lord thunder. And it's about to explain the terrified of the Lord thunder. Alright. It says, but the Lord Yahweh spoke with a mighty voice of thunder from heaven that day. And the Philistines were thrown into such confusion that the Israelites defeated them. Yeah. So here it is, the, you know, the Hamites, the Philistines, right? they had came at the Israelites like, yeah, we about to en engage y'all in battle. But the Lord has thunder. The Lord spoke and they, and see that thunder was so terrifying that it confused the Hamites. And the Hamites was so afraid that it stunned them. You know what I'm saying? To the point that the Israelites, long story short, let me finish it off, that the Israelites slaughtered it. The Israelites slaughtered all of them. Had them running. They, they were scared because of the voice of the Lord. All right? Hey, the voice, if you think the voice of the Lord is bad, which it is, don't get don't get that wrong. The scripture says that what you cannot see you cannot see Yahweh face and live. 
You know what I'm saying? Which I ain't got to get that. You know, I'm pressed with time. But you can't even see your Howard face and live. How much more his voice. So, anyway, the Lord thunder from heaven. The Lord thunder, which the Lord spoke and freeze their ass. All right? And freeze their ass to the point that they was stunned in fear. I mean, you stunned in fear? Hey, man. That's the power of the Lord. So, you know, that's, that's that story right there. All right, let me get this one real quick. Let me get this one real quick. Second Peter. This is a Second Peter chapter um, two, verse five. It says, "In spare not the old world, but save Noah the eighth person." A preacher of righteousness and see we are what a preacher of what righteousness bringing in the flood upon the world of the ungodly going back into what the Lord using the weather to what destroy people mildew hail tsunamis hurricanes earthquakes sinkholes you know what I'm saying volcano eruptions all right the Lord will shake the earth and Lord he's gonna rain missiles all right hey Noah was a preacher of righteousness now I'm saying, because what we basically coming out here to to a hey, preach the word, a hey, get right, or your ass gonna get left behind and what destroy, all right? Again, it says back in Second Peter chapter two verse five, and spare not the old world, but save Noah the eighth person, a preacher of righteousness, bringing in. The flood upon the world of the ungodly. There you go. And who is and who is the ungodly? Anybody outside the elect. And who is the elect of the Lord? The elect is is uh, the so-called Nick. It's the one third of the so-called Negroes, Hispanics, and Native American Indians, and of course the Israelite foreigners that look like the other nations. We are the true biblical Hebrew Israelites. All right. And the Lord is only looking. The Lord is only coming for the remnant, which is the elect of the nation of Israel. All our people ain't gonna get it. Once upon a time, you know, I used to argue back and forth with people, but then as I gained experience, I learned how to read spirits, in which that that's a gift itself. You know, the prophet Elijah, he had that gift. You know, every brother got different gifts, but that's one of, of the gifts I have. I know how to read spirits. You know what I'm saying? I know how to. Okay, he ain't right. All right, he got potential. Just like when Jake came up, I say, now nah, he ain't right. So I ain't trying to go back and forth because that's not edifying. Even though that's what niggas want. See, niggas want to see a back and forth and kiss my shoe and kiss my ass. Nah, I ain't going to do that. My job is just to teach the word. I'm fishing for the elect. I ain't fishing for all Israel and to give you entertainment and to curse a nigga out. Nah, if that's what you want, Go watch somebody else. If you want a back and forth and an argument, hands being thrown, go watch somebody else. All right? Because I'm here to teach that it. If if you not up the elect, keep it moving. So now I got like one more minute left. Y'all at the end. Uh, but, but but let me get this real quick, man. Let me get this real quick. At least let me get one more. Isaiah chapter, Isaiah chapter 29 verse 6 It says thou shalt be visited of the Lord Yahweh of armies Alright the Lord of hosts See again from the top Thou shalt be visited of the Lord Yahweh of hosts With thunder There you go with thunder Which means Lord he's going to speak And with earthquakes Alright the earthquakes Alright in great Noah's which is, which is great confusion Noah That's why whenever you hear about destruction Of uh, the tornadoes, people be like, man, that, man, that, man, when that tornado had came, it had sound like a train wreck. All right, that's that great noise. It says, in great noise with storm and tempest in the flame of the fire and fire. You know, your house or building may burn down. Hey, look, man, whatever the case may be. All right, hey, and that's the Lord visiting. Hey, the, hey, the Lord judgment happens every single day. All right, the Lord always puts somebody to death. But hey, let me go ahead and end it. I gotta go back to work. Hopefully this lesson was uh this Friday lunch break camp was edifying. Also a lesson I'm gonna end up by saying call all you have a bashim out with Shaiba Hashem Rukar Kordash, the Bonus Twin Elves and the Apostle of Great Millstone and Shadow Wan to go for Elect Shadow Wan.